take four. Click, chop, snap, whatever. Trying to keep this under five to seven minutes. It has been a month since I did my last video and it has been relatively good weather since then except for the last three days. The last three days, it's been raining. I have seen four accidents. I've watched one woman slip and fall and I've nearly been in three accidents. And I've gone through a couple of rooster tails that were a lot of fun. Not the rain or the winter weather that is sure to come that makes people stupid. It's just people are stupid in the first place. And I've said that many times because it's true. People are stupid. It's just... If, if people understand that in the winter you can't wear like tank tops and shorts, but in the summer you can't wear sweats and sweaters unless it's just the way you are. Um, why, does, why don't people understand that about driving? I mean, maybe they say they understand that, but they certainly don't act like they understand it. Uh, when, I, when I went to take my... L test, which is the knowledge test, uh, I noticed that the lady next to me had hers in Punjabi and the guy on the other side of me had his in Chinese. And I thought, oh, that's so cool because th these people get the opportunity to drive even though they have this language barrier. But then when I went driving one time and went down the street that had a lot of uh, it was like construction and stuff, and there's a lot of signs in English that said reroute this way or um, yield from this street, like just all these signs in English. I realized, how the fuck are these people who don't know speak don't speak English supposed to understand any of these? I, I love having all these different cultures in my city that I can, you know, see and experience without traveling halfway across the world, which I plan to do someday, but for now, this is all I got. But it creates a lot of problems, especially when it comes to driving, people who can't speak English. Because if you're in an accident, how are you supposed to communicate with them? The guy, the first accident I was nearly in, the guy had skidded out in front of me because, uh, whatever the reason was, uh, it might have been just he didn't know how to drive in the rain, which would be my main point here, but I noticed his tires weren't meant for, like, bad winter, situa winter situations. And normally when you first buy a new car, if they don't have all seasons tires, it's usually rain tires, which my mom was really mad about because she'd asked for season tires when she first got her car. But anyway, it this guy didn't have good tires for the weather, and I tried telling him that I'm like, you need to get your t your tires changed for the winter. He's like, he like he didn't under he kept apologizing to me because he thought I was mad at him for what happened, but I just got out of the car to check on him. But he's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. And I'm like, get your tires changed. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Do you want me to, like, act it out? I can t actually take the cars, the tires off your car if you want me to. I could. Actually, now that I think about it, I should have. So with my cat in the way. Okay, uh, I can't do this with you here, Kiwi. What I've noticed, it's either people who don't know how to drive because they bought their license. Uh, there was a whole scandal about that a couple years ago. Go Google it because I can't find the article to save my life either people who have their license, who, you know, got it through the proper channels or whatever, and are just too freaking cocky that they think they can speed up wherever the hell they want, they can do whatever turns, they can U-turn wherever the hell they want, whatever. They think they're above everything and can do whatever the hell they want. They're the people who uh, have their license through the proper, like, officially official license kind of thing, but somehow cheated. <laughs> because they can't seem to drive now. And then there's the people who bought their license and didn't even bother trying to take the test. Those people really piss me off the most. Unfortunately, those are normally immigrants. Because um, uh, from what my understanding is, in places like China, labor is very cheap. So these rich people who lived in China or whichever countries before that had maids and drivers, chauffeurs, I don't think you even call them chauffeurs, they're just people who drive your car. When they come over here, they realize that you have to pay people minimum wage, and they can't afford that, because they realize they don't actually have as much money as they thought they did. So they have a situation where they suddenly need to know how to drive, because they can't get around any other way, and they don't want to go on transit systems. And that's sad, because... 
I think I'd rather if I if if I wasn't able to learn how to drive, I'd rather take the bus everywhere rather than risk driving a machine I don't know how to operate or go on a road where I don't know all the rules because that's ridiculous. Who would risk who would risk their life for the convenience? Oh, apparently a lot of people, evidently enough. So I'm I'm banging my head against my steering wheel because I can't I'm so frustrated with these people who just don't know how to drive in rain. That I mean that's all I have to say. People don't know how to drive in rain and snow and sleet and whatever else. I actually hate driving in slush. Um I I have a big truck that has perfect tires for all four seasons. No wait, I have winter tires. Do I? I gotta get that checked before it snows. But I'm totally cool with driving in these situations. Slush, I'm a little nervous about, but I just slow down. I still need to get places, and it's not that hard to just slow down. Actually, it takes more work to speed up. So why not just be lazy and slow down? Because it hasn't rained for a while. When I drove to work the last couple of days, I was going slow just to make sure. And there was actually one night I was at friends and I was driving people home. And we had rooster tails coming up everywhere. It was great. But uh, I was still driving carefully because I, I have people in my car. It, I don't think I would ever be able to drive again if I killed people in my car because I was being careless or reckless. If it was someone else's fault, I would still feel bad. But if it was my fault, I would never get in a car ever again behind the steering wheel. That's what I'm guessing at least because I, I hope it never happens. But there's these people who risk their lives. They don't think of it that way because they're just like, I'm driving however the hell I want. They're motoring along and skidding out because they don't have the proper tires or because it's just a ice patch or something. It's just you, People think they can control everything, but they can't. And they don't seem to understand that. So when they're in an accident, they're like, Oh man, I'm so angry. Why did this happen? God, why are you hating on me? It's like, no, God's actually teaching you a lesson. And I'm not saying God hates people. I'm saying people are stupid and are bringing it on themselves. I hate it when people blame something other than themselves when it's their fault. You sped up. You're the one that cut this person off. This is your fault. Don't blame God. God loves us all. Doesn't matter. Just, you guys are idiots. Okay, the video's eight minutes. Leave me alone.